Welcome back to the SSL Family Dad channel for the big reveal of the, the secret project. So as you can see, we're running some tubing in the raised bed. So what's going on here? All right, so we have the, the 25 foot long uh, log raised bed here. And uh, what we're doing, the big reveal, the big secret is I'm going to turn this into a heated raised bed. So the idea is I'm gonna move my wood boiler out here and I'm gonna heat the greenhouse through this giant thermal mass that will be this uh, big raised bed filled with dirt and compost and, and uh, growing plants and things. So what I did was I'm running some of this, uh, this three quarter inch packs through here. Um, this is hot water packs. It's good for, I think it's up to 180 or maybe even 190 degrees. Um, I have to double check on that, but it's good for, for our boiler. And so I started by laying just two bales of straw in here. And the idea was that maybe that'll create kind of a, I don't know, like a blanket at the bottom of the bed here. Even though it's, you know, right now it's sitting real thick in the bed, that, that's going to squish way down to about this thick after it breaks down a little bit, gets wet. And so I'm hoping that, uh, that this will work. So I've never really seen this done before. Uh, I don't know what an effect it's going to have on the plants. I, it's going to work great for seed germination, I can tell you that. Um, nice warm soil should be great for, for germinating seeds, but how well will it... Will it grow plants with the soil kind of warmed and will it affect how fast the, you know, the wood will rot and, and other things? Yeah, probably, but uh, we're going we're gonna to go for it here. And the idea is to create a huge thermal mass here. So we'll be circulating, you know, 160 degree, 170 degree water through these tubes. And this will be filled with dirt and it's going to heat this huge thermal mass up in the center of the greenhouse during the day. And then overnight, um, it will continue to heat it, of course, and it will be releasing a lot of that heat into the greenhouse. So hoping to heat uh, the greenhouse that way or just keep it above freezing. It just has to not frost. So, you know, 40 degrees um, or, or something like that would be, would be fine. So we just have one continuous loop. It goes in this side right here and it runs all the way down to the other end and it loops back right here and then it loops around right here and then goes all the way back down the center and then loops back one more time and then comes all the way down to here and it's 100 feet of packs in here so loop back and forth it's about a 25 foot bed so a little bit shorter than that and uh and so that's why we have 100 foot of packs in there so that should keep the soil pretty warm i would think uh we'll see i've never i never really he tried to heat this much dirt before so <laughs> we'll see we'll see what happens but I think this is gonna work. So the next step is getting the boiler out here and getting it hooked up. And I wanna get that boiler set in place and hooked up to this so I can start warming this place even before I begin building the sugar shack. So let's go take a look at the, at the boiler and see what I need to do. I've got some things to disconnect, some electrical and things like that. And then uh, we'll get that, we'll see if we can get that thing moved over here and set in place. So here is the boiler. I've emptied it out. It's been empty for the season. I haven't used it. Don't plan on using it to eat the home anymore. And uh, so what I need to do is, is disconnect it. Now I've already disconnected the, I've already cut the uh, water lines there. Um, and I've got the, uh, this electrical conduit that comes up in from the house and then goes back out to the barn. So I just need to, uh, to disconnect that move this thing out of the way and then I'm going to put an, an outdoor outlet on this uh, this conduit and this white cord actually runs over to my little chicken brooder that we just built and so I need to make sure we keep power out there also kind of a wiring mess here but uh, I don't think it'll be too bad to really just disconnect a bunch of wire nuts here it looks like and um, you know wire nut a bunch of stuff together <laughs> so it shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be too hard so the plan <laughs> Uh, I don't know how heavy this thing is, but the plan will be to hook to this loop on the top and see if I can lift this with my tractor and uh, just drive it right over there. Should be easy. And then we're going to set it in place right out here at the, the ugly end of the greenhouse. <laughs> and uh, it's going to sit right over here. I'm going to face the feed door out of the, uh, so it won't be in the building. And then the rest of the boiler is going to be inside the building. Um, that way it'll keep all that heat in the, in the sugar shack and in the greenhouse area.
And this is the wrong box, of course. Half inch conduit, not three quarter. And I, uh, I swear I pulled it out of the bin that said three quarter connections, but oh well, I didn't pay attention to it. So anyway, uh, this is a uh, an all weather um, cover. And basically I'm just gonna put a regular outlet on here and then use this cover um, to seal to it and that will uh will take care of uh of the outdoor outlet there but unfortunately i don't have the right box so uh this will get returned to exchange and i'll have to deal with this later and i'll i can't really fix this permanently anyway i gotta bury a two by four a treated two by four in the ground and then screw this to it um but i can't do all that uh, now because the ground's frozen so we'll deal with this uh stuff later and we'll just wire up those connections off for right now and we'll see if our tractor can lift that boiler things here uh, have a chain that's rated at uh, five or six thousand pounds and I have a few um, clamps three-eighths three-eighths chain three-eighths three-eighths hooks look at that isn't that sad so the chain is uh, made in America and these are all made in China so if anything fails it's gonna be this stuff but I think this will work. I'm going to put this on the end of the chain, uh, both ends here. I don't know whether I'm going to even use this or not. I think the hooks will be just fine, but I bought one of these just because I may need it for other things. So let's go ahead and get these cotter pins out. I might actually be able to use this right on that hook and then run a, a double chain through there something like that might give me more strength we'll see
Well, I would consider that a success. Uh, it is here. The tractor lifted it. Uh, I think with no problem, actually. The only reason it didn't lift it higher was just because the uh, that was as high as the bucket goes. Um, just, I just need to readjust how I had it hooked. and But uh, moved over here just fine. Uh, but with our success comes a uh, small failure. Because of the way it was spinning around, it ended up denting, scratching all the trim. It hit the brush guard on the front of the tractor a couple times and I stopped too soon and it swung back and hit so it uh, would have been a good two-person job if I had somebody to help guide it as we walked probably would have been best but I ain't got no time to wait around for that we got to get things done so will you be quiet goat huh, I listened so now all I have to do is uh hook up our water lines back here. We'll insulate them into the back of the greenhouse and we will uh, hook it up and start heating that bed. But before I can do that, I have to fill the raised bed with something. I gotta get some dirt in there. So that's gonna be a challenge. I haven't quite figured out how I'm gonna do that yet. Um, everything's frozen solid here. It's been so cold. Uh, it's been below zero at night. Um, this week we're gonna have temperatures down to negative 10 at night. So. I'm not sure how I'm gonna get dirt. I don't think I can get it out of the field. I'm gonna try our compost pile though. If I can get a few good bucketfuls of compost out of the out of there and fill the, the, the bed up at least with maybe six inches of dirt and then just let that compost down and just keep adding to it, uh, I think that'll be okay. So we're gonna give that a shot, uh, but that'll be for another video. Yeah, it's much warmer in here. So I've got a couple options with uh, with this here. This is a three quarter inch PEX and the, the output on that circulation pump is actually one inch. I don't know if that will make a, a difference if I hook this three quarter inch for now directly up to the uh, circulation pump and just reduce it. I don't know if that'll cause back pressure or cause strain on the, on the circulation pump. So any of you uh, uh, water pump or boiler guys want to give me some input on that, that would be fine. My plan was actually to come with one inch uh, PEX into the greenhouse buried underground and make a loop in here underground and back to the boiler um, so it can, it can circulate continuously and then just make a couple diverters at this, uh, this raised bed. And then I'm also gonna have some other heated tables or heated barrels or something like that in here down the road that uh, I could also divert some of that water to. So that's just a, a couple different options. Um, one of them requires a lot more valves and, and things and money and fittings. And so we'll see, uh, we'll see how that all comes together. But so now that the secret project has been revealed, you guys will have to let me know what you think. I uh, didn't want to hold it off any longer. I want to get this video out to you guys. So uh, the end of the week, but we will uh, start fresh next week. I've got lots of things going on. I've got to pick up loads of pallets. We're starting to gather supplies together to get the uh, sugar shack started. Uh, temperatures are cold, wood collection still continues, and things are just busy around here. Even though it's winter, lots and lots and lots of things to do. So uh, I will uh, try to get these videos out as quickly as I can to you guys, and as many as I can, and uh, take you guys along for everything that we're doing around here. So uh, look forward to, uh, to those things. As always, don't forget to hit thumbs up on each and every video. If you follow along, I always appreciate it. And subscribe if this is your first time to the channel and you're checking out the raised bed or the, the uh, beginnings of the heated raised bed. Uh, we'll begin a series on uh, how, we're, how we're heating this and how well it works. So there'll be lots of videos to come out on this. I don't know what's gonna happen. I've never, I never worked with heated soil before, so uh, we'll have to see what happens. But uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.